latest endeavor since I mentioned my wife's fish tanks to you recently and some of the work we've been doing with them. Take you along for the ride here. So what we're working on right now, if you notice, here's a jack for the car. Back up underneath here is the bottle jack for my truck. We've got this whole fish tank stand here suspended on this side on these jacks which you're thinking I'm stupidly crazy because I'm sitting right here so that if it falls over it's going to fall right on me but <coughs> there's nowhere really better to sit and I'm pretty confident in these jacks I'm really not worried about it. this whole stand with everything on it right now is I wouldn't even say a thousand pounds so I'm really not worried about it all of a sudden even if it does fall right now where I've got these bolts I've got half an inch that it would fall and it probably would, would just sit right there most likely. So hopefully the bolts here that I got. Let me see that bolt. I'll to the... the old bolt that I just took out is too short. So I'm hoping, hoping. Uh, well, the old bolt goes through the nut. That the new bolt, we bought these, so this is kind of funny. So we bought these new bolts and then I lost them. And so then I went and bought more new bolts. And then I made that can video. You, and enough, can you push I'm gonna that? need and then another one for this side here. Can you put yep. Sure yep. 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 And then I made another video where I showed you guys where I was welding these adjustable feet onto the stand. Now they're not on this stand. They're actually they're actually on the stand behind me. But anyway, luckily we found the bolts that I originally lost because now we have to have them. What we're doing is um, the floor down here in this downstairs room has a slope to it. I think it's something like, um, inch every four it's like a half inch per eight, I think, yeah, or an inch per four. Well, no, that'd be worse. I think it's a half inch per eight feet is the slope on this concrete floor because, again, someday it's going to be a garage. But we have to compensate for that with these fish tank stands to make them look level and even all the way across. We have to adjust them. And my wife built this stack of these wooden blocks with a metal plate on top. And so actually, we've been coming across the row here with just a stack of six two by fours, but here we had to actually step down and take one two by four out and put a three quarter inch, just a one by in instead. Because we got to where the bolts were drawn all the way up and we still couldn't level the stand. So now we're taking the original bolts out, which are shorter, because they're just long enough that they weren't, they weren't long enough with the shorter block. So we'll put the longer bolts back in, which is just super duper lucky that we lost them and then found them. And they're the, right and they're the exact right size. <laughs> I don't remember that I, maybe when I went shopping for bolts, I might have taken. You took one of the other ones. Yeah, I might have taken one of the other ones, but I didn't remember that. I'm just going to say I'm just that good. I just, I can just tell. I just look at it. It's not that good, tell. people. So. And being careful not to put a whole lot of torque on them because I don't want to shit on the stand. But there you go. Is that lined up where you want it? Uh, it needs to be a oh, my big head getting... So the idea now is that <coughs> these bolts can be adjusted with the weight of the sand on them. That's the whole point. They're big, heavy duty bolts. So now that we've got the block back underneath of it and the new bolts put in, I can actually take it off the jacks, which we'll have to do. My wife's checking the level right now. She's checking the spacing from one block to the next because ultimately she's going to put a, a facade on this whole thing and put drawer fronts on it, which is why we went with the wooden blocks. Oh, the other bolts sit in front, right? Yeah. That's what I was trying to up. So we'll get our block centered up where it needs to be here, and then we'll take the pressure off the jack so that the stand is once again sitting on the blocks, and then we'll level the stand up using the bolts on the floor corner. I think that's about right. Once we get this one done, <coughs> and then we'll go about setting the other stand on, the one I was welding on the other day. Okay, so now the really tricky part. <clears throat> We've got this stand, we think, where we want it. But the issue we were having was that when we lined this one up with the new one over here, there's a big gap we couldn't seem to level it. So we got the other new block in place. Now we got to try to wrestle this thing up on top. Good. 
on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. My block needs to. Okay, so we got it all in there leveled up now, and yes, I know, I cut out all the tedious work of us shimming and shoving and scooting and measuring and twisting the bolts just a little bit, but it's not worth watching, it's pretty boring, it's just turning bolts and us bickering each other. But it's looking pretty good now. Um, what we actually ended up doing is, see we set these stands up one at a time, and if you look down the line here, there was actually this next corner right here was actually out, what, a half an inch? About a half an inch. <clears throat> and so that actually was giving us a lot of fit because what it was doing then was the back bar of this stand was touching and on the front we had a significant gap here. Now we still got a little bit of a gap, but we had a much bigger gap and we couldn't get it even. The only way to close that gap would have been to pull this corner out even further and make things even worse. So we actually had to scoop this one in and I'll show you what I did just for an example because it's pretty heavy, but to make it not so heavy, we put this used scrap block here, and I used the tire tool, not my pipe here, but just to show you, and just stuck it up underneath the here, and then braced my leg against it ever so firm, and just pulled up a little bit. And as I pull up, the resultant force is that it wants to push the whole stand backwards. So just real easy, scooted it back that half an inch. And that pretty well solved all the problems. So it was kind of interesting how much we were fussing going back and forth trying to figure out what was on level and what was out of square and it ended up it really wasn't a whole lot to do with this stand it was to do with that stand being out now we did still have to swap the blocks anyway um, you can see the comparison here on the old block versus the new block how it stands a little taller so we had to do that anyway but ultimately I think it went much better than we anticipated I wasn't expecting a catastrophic failure, but the amount of labor that we put into it was significantly less. So there's a little good little shot of the tanks. Showing them off. I told y'all it's not my thing, but it's hers, and I guess I have to tolerate it because she has pretty good at it. <laughs> 